Okay guys, so meron tayo dito uh, Radical equations Okay, so radical, simple radical equations muna tayo So, here are the, the, the samples And I will try to solve this one Okay, I'll begin to explain one by one And as you can see here, uh, dito muna ako mag-start sa baba para may space tayo mag-explain. Okay, so like square root of x minus 2 is equal to 3. And so rat natin dito that square root of 2 minus, uh, square root of x minus 2 is equal to 3. Okay, so same thing with um, solving equations. Transpose natin yung uh, walang variable. So magiging positive siya. So we, ha we have square root of x is equal to 3 plus 2 na siya. Okay? So, that square root of x is equal to 5. Now, in this case, since we're getting for uh, the value of x, square lang natin siya. Pag square root siya, square lang natin both sides. Okay? Square natin both sides. So, square root of x square, that will just cancel. This, the radical sign, the, the square root sign and the, the exponent 2. So, that's x. Okay? And then, 5 squared or 5 times 5, that is 25. So, our x there is equal to 25. Okay? So, let's try to uh, check this one if we are correct. So, we say square root of x minus 2 is equal to 3. And then, x is 25. So, we say square root of 25 minus 2 is equal to 3. And then, square root of 25 is 5. And then, minus 2 is equal to 3. So, 3 is equal to 3. Okay? So, as you can see there. Okay, next one we have here. Uh, 12 minus square root of x is equal to 6. Okay. So, transpose natin yung uh, walang variable. So, we say negative square root of x is equal to 6 minus 12, right? Okay, so negative uh, square root of x is equal to 6 minus 12, that is negative 6, right? And then, divide natin sa negative 1 para mawala yung negative dyan. So, negative 1 on both sides kasi understood there's a ne negative 1 here, okay? In algebra, we don't write 1. Cancel that because this one is negative 1 and negative 1. And then, so negative 6 divided by negative 1, that becomes positive 6. Okay, so we have here square root of x is equal to positive 6. Now, again, pag square root siya, okay, radical, square root, square nyo lang siya. Pag cube root yan, that means 3 ang andito, cube root nyo rin siya. Uh, I-cube, i-cube nyo siya, okay? So, both sides, square. So, we say, uh, square root of x, square, that is just x, cancel this one. So, 6 squared is equal to 36. To check if we are correct, we say 12 minus square root of x is equal to 6. Okay? So, going back to the original equation. And then, x is 36. So, it's like 12 minus square root of 36 is equal to 6. So, 12 minus square root of 36 is 6 is equal to 6. 12 minus 6 is 6 is equal to 6. Okay? So, our answer is correct. Okay, here, so, as you can see here in the board, we have 2 times square root of x minus 3 is equal to 5. Okay? So, again, transpose natin sa kabilang side yung walang variable. So, we say 2 square root of x is equal to 5 plus 3. Okay? So, this one magiging positive 3 na siya. And then, 2 square root of x is equal to 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. Now, nasa labas si 2. Okay? So, coefficient, numerical coefficient lang siya. So, i-divide natin siya by 2 both sides. Okay? Both sides. Kasi multiplication naman siya. So, pwede natin i-divide siya. So, cancel that. So, we have square root of x is equal to 8 divided by 2. That is 4. Okay? And, solving for x, you square both sides lang. So, we say, cancel the square in x, uh, the, the radical sign. So, we say, x is equal to 4 squared is equal to 16. Okay? Now, let's try to check this one using the original equation. Oh. x is equal to uh, 16. Okay? Square root of x squared. Okay, that's x is equal to square root of 16. Checking that using the original equation, so we say 2 square root of x minus 3 is equal to 5, okay? And then 2 times square root of x, which is 16, right? So 16 minus 3 is equal to 5, okay? There we go, 2, 2 times square root of 16 is 4, okay? Minus 3 is equal to 5. And then 2 times 4, that is 8, minus 3 is equal to 5. So 5 is equal to 5. So, that means our answer is correct, okay? So, which is x is equal to 16. Okay, so next one, meron tayo dito. 4 square root of x minus 1 is equal to x plus 2, okay? So, both sides may variable siya. Uh, as I've said before, when you're solving for equations, lahat ng may variable sa left side or, or in one side, okay? It's either left or right side kung saan kayo comfortable. 
Okay? So, ako lagi akong nilalagay sa left. And then, yung walang variable, lagi kong nilagay, nilalagay sa right. Okay? So, this one, kukihan natin, 4 squared of x. Transposing this one becomes uh, squared of x. Okay? Minus, okay, so this is positive. Is equal to 2. And then, this one becomes positive here. Positive 1. Okay? So, 4, um, as, I, as I've explained on the uh, adding and subtracting radicals, you can check uh, my video uh, of that uh, below. Uh, meron dyan. Okay, so, pag pareho yung radicand, okay, and then yung index, index, this is 2 and 2, or square root, square root, and then pareho yung radicand x, x, we can proceed with addition and subtraction, okay? Understood, this is 1, okay? So, we just uh, sub subtract the numerical coefficient, so that's 4 minus 1, that is 3, and then kopyahin nyo lang yung radicand, which is square root of x, okay? Or radical. And then, 2 plus 1, that is 3. Okay? There we go. And then, my 3 tayo, numerical coefficient dito sa kapila. So, we just have to divide it para hindi tayo masyadong mahirapan sa pagsusolve. Anyway, we can do it this way. So, cancel that. Kung ano yung numerical coefficient, yung divisor natin. Kung ano yung divide nyo dyan, divide nyo din sa kapila. That's it. Okay? So, 3 divided by 3, that's 1. So, we have square root of x is equal to 1. And then, square natin siya. Square natin both sides. So, x is equal to, cancel this one is equal to 1 squared is 1. Okay? Checking our equation or our answer if it's correct. So, we say 4 squared of x minus squared of, ah, no, no. Minus 1 is equal to squared of x plus 2. Okay? Original equation natin. And then, 4 times 1, okay, which is x, value of x, minus 1 is equal to squared of 1 plus 2. Okay? 4 times 1, that is 4, minus 1 is equal to square root of 1 is 1, plus 2. And then 4 minus 1, that is 3, and then 1 plus 2, that is 3. So our answer is correct, okay? Okay, so here guys, we have the last one. Uh, x minus 4, square root of x minus 4 plus 2 is equal to 17. Okay, so transpose natin si to there. So we have x minus 4, square root of x minus 4 is equal to 17 minus 2. Okay, so this one, square root of x minus 4 is equal to 15. You square both sides, square both sides. So we have there, uh, cancel this one. So you have x minus 4, kasi buong, buong x minus 4 siya inside, or the radical is x minus 4. So cancel nyo yung square root at saka yung uh, square. So that is 15 squared is 225. Now, transposing that, so we have there x is equal to 225 plus 4, or x is equal to 229, okay? So, let's try. Okay, so let's try with this, uh, checking it. So, we have x, uh, square root of x minus 4 is e uh, plus 2 is equal to 17. So, we say uh, x is 229, so square root of 229 minus 4 plus 2 is equal to 17. 229 minus 4, that is square root of 225, okay? 225. Plus 2 is equal to 17, and then square root of 225 is 15, then plus 2 is equal to 17, so 17 is equal to 17, okay? So our answer is correct. Okay, so I hope this one helped you a lot, guys, and please don't forget to share this video, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that uh, bell for notifications of my future videos. Po. Thank you so much. Stay safe.